Okay, we're moving into secret number two, which is silica. And one of the least known minerals is silica, but it's also one of the healthiest for your hair. And it's also healthy for um, your bones, your joints, nails, and skin. And there's a little bit of confusion because people think of silica as silicone, but in fact, silica is the natural version and silicone is an artificial version but silicon uh, without the E is the natural version. So silicon and silica are the same thing, but silica, silicone is artificial. Um, in a research trial at the University of Cincinnati, it was found that silica in the form of choline stabilized orthosilicic acid was able to both strengthen and thicken hair by more than 12%. Silica helps the body to both form more collagen and improve blood flow to the scalp. And increased blood flow means that more nutrients are able to be carried into the hair root, resulting in thicker and shinier hair. And the brand names that have uh, choline stabilized orthosilicic acid are Biosil and Gyrosil. Uh, they come in pill form and drop form. Usually drop is, uh, drops are less expensive, but they both will do the same thing for you. Moving into secret number three, which is coconut shampoo. The secret's actually coconut oil. In a study uh, with mineral oil, sunflower oil, and coconut oil, with mineral oil and sunflower oil being two oils largely used in hair care products, they tested them to find out if they penetrate the hair root. And it, they found out that among those three oils, only coconut oil was able to do it. Mineral oil and sunflower oil did not penetrate the root and had no effect on hair um, health or hair growth. Um, instead, coconut oil was good enough to do that. It did penetrate the root and it reduced hair protein loss. So it's impor important to know that hair is made up largely of protein. Uh, the protein is called keratin and when you reduce protein loss it equals more keratin and it equals thicker and smoother hair. So one thing that you could do is take coconut oil. Coconut oil comes as a salad oil that you have to scoop out with a spoon. Since it's salad and kind of hard you would have to heat it up maybe rub it between your hands before it becomes uh, liquid where you can actually put it on your scalp. Um, but instead of doing that, there's a great shampoo that's called Dr. Bronner's Magic Shampoo. And the very first ingredient in there is a saponified, which means a soap-like version of coconut oil. And what you would do is take that shampoo, leave it on your hair for about two minutes, make sure that you rub it uh, deeply into the areas that you're experiencing the most hair loss. So do something else, wash other areas while that shampoo sits on your hair and then rinse it out. And therefore the coconut oil will be able to penetrate the root and reduce hair protein loss. Moving into hair loss secret number four, we're talking about GLA, which is also gamma linolenic acid. It's another one of those fatty acids. And um, it's the only unsaturated fatty acid that's not widely available in foods. So if you go to your supermarket and you try to look for a food that contains GLA, you probably won't find one or at least not one that contains any uh, significant amount. Because the foods that it comes in are evening primrose oil, barrage oil, and black, black currant seed oil. So when was the last time you had black currant seeds in your dinner? Probably not, right? This is not one of those essential fatty acids, even though it is an omega-6, but normally the omega-6 that you're going to get out of like walnuts and what I was saying before is linole linoleic acid and that gets converted into GLA therefore it's not essential however a lot of people are deficient in it especially if you have hair loss and the reason why is that a you're not getting enough omega-6 like I was saying before but B because not everyone has optimal GI or gastrointestinal function so you need an optimal intestinal function for that LA to get converted into GLA so that you have enough for your hair. Most GLA products you'll find contain about 40 to 60 milligrams per pill, which is pretty much 
nothing. Studies assessing GLA's effects use dosages around 3,000 milligrams. I don't recommend that high. You don't need that much. Um, instead, for men, I recommend 240 milligrams. You can get that in Jaro brand Borage oil. Make sure that it says on the back 240 milligrams of GLA per pill. And women can take uh, between one and two of those pills. Okay, well, next we're talking about the fifth secret, which is topical Panax ginseng. And first, I want you to take a look at this diagram of the hair root and follicle. And you can see at the bottom, it's a little uh, grayed out there, but it says dermal papilla cell. So at the very bottom of the hair root, there's a cell, it's the green one right here. It's called the dermal papilla cell, and that's where everything grows out of. So you want to increase the number of dermal papilla cells so that you increase the number of hair roots and therefore increase the number of hair and make full and thicker, fuller, thicker hair for yourself. And this is what they actually studied with topical Panax ginseng because it helped uh, the proliferation of these dermal papilla cells. And not only the proliferation, but it also decreased apoptosis in these cells. Apoptosis means programmed cell death. It means that cells have a plan to kill themselves off. So what you want to be happening is these dermal papilla cells to not be killing themselves off, at least not so soon. You want them to stay around. And when you put on topical pa Panax ginseng, you're making it so that those cells, those hair root cells, live longer. And that was studied in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology. Also, as I said, it increases the proliferation of those dermal papilla cells and therefore improve, improves your hair regeneration ability. Uh, so far, only this, this is shown only in mice and test tubes. However, if you take a look at the testimonials around the web, you'll find that shampoos, conditioners, and uh, scalp lotions, there's, they're pretty good testimonials for those products that contain Panax ginseng in them. So there's two forms of Panax ginseng or there's probably more than two, but the two that have been studied for hair regrowth are Radix Panax ginseng and Fructus Panax ginseng. Both of those have been proven to work well. Brands that you can look for are Aubrey Organics Essential, or uh, EO, I think that's an essential organic products, or Jason Natural. Um, apply as directed on the package. You can get your choice of shampoo, conditioner, or hair lotion and Aubrey Organics Men's Stock, that's the one that looks the best to me in terms of Panax ginseng is listed earlier in the, in, the, in the ingredients indicating that there's more of it. Okay, thanks for watching Five Secrets for Natural Hair Regrowth. For more hair loss information, you can consult my book, which is titled Reloaded Natural Hair Loss Secrets for Safe, Effective Hair Growth. And most uh, hair loss ebooks sell for $40, $50, some sell for uh, 20 or $30. Reloaded Natural Hair Loss Secrets is just $15.95 in either format, which is ebook or printed book format. And you can go to order it at reloadedhair.com or you can also search for it on amazon.com. All right, thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, I welcome emails. And uh, my email address is david at nutrientbalance.com. You spell nutrient, N-U-T-R-I-E-N-T. And, uh, okay, thank you very much.